this year's uh, GSR has been beautiful. I love the country, I love the people, the organization has been fantabulous. But for a lot of people who haven't attended before, it was a very informative meeting. It's, it's good to know as a regulator the pertinent issues going around the world uh, with re in, in regard to regulation. I think where we sit today, um, there's no particular country that is isolated. And so we're interlinked globally. And when you come to these forums, you kind of get to understand the challenges other people are going through. And by sharing experiences, you find solutions somehow and certain times when you've been stuck with an issue you discover you're not the only one there are a lot of other people stuck with issues um, so this forum is very important I think it's a it's it's one of those that has to be there in every year's calendar and every regulator must attend because it kind of recertifies why we exist how we exist and what we're supposed to be doing so I absolutely loved it Um, some of the challenges which I think are common and we actually picked up from here, uh, in Zambia particularly, we, we have this um, standoff between us and the operators. We have conspiracy theories going on. For instance, when quality of service is not working, a regulator's job is to ensure that they protect the consumer. But what we do is then we start suspecting that the operators are probably not upgrading their system fast enough. They're, not, they're, they're wanting to get money out of the consumers but not put back to improve the quality of service. And when we usually have these kind of standoffs, there's, there's a bit of discourse between what's supposed to be a harmonious environment. And when coming here, I, I recognize that uh, Zambia is not unique with that challenge. Most of my regulator colleagues, not only from developing countries, but developed countries have had that experience or are experiencing the same thing. The other thing that we normally have challenges with as regulators is um, same platform thinking with our policy makers. There's the ministry and there's us. And most of the times the ministry is there, then we're here. But the operators and the consumers sit in one platform. So uh, again, coming to this meeting, I recognize that that challenge is everywhere. Uh, some have very good relations with the ministries, others do not have as good a relationship. And so it's a question of how do we get the ministries, which we belong to as regulators, to kind of speak the same language as us. So, from, Z from a Zambi perspective, I think the challenges that we're going through are very similar to other people. Are we moving at the f as fast a pace as the technology that's coming onto the market? No. What do we need to do about it as regulators? Learn, uh, create a sense of com uh, awareness campaign and evolve. And also, what was very unique about this meeting was um, a recognition that um, we as regulators have to acknowledge that we're limited in the capacity that we have of expertise as well as information. And so the first rule that we learned sharing experiences is just being humble, number one. Be humble enough to admit that you need to learn. And learn from who? The operators, learn from who? The consumers, and learn from colleagues. So uh, that was very nice uh, an experience. So yeah, the, from coming from here, the common issue that we all had was we need to be as fast moving as the, consume, um, as the operators that actually evolve things, the technology on the market. I think that's the most topical thing right now. Is regulation moving at the same pace as technology? I don't think so, but we're trying. We're trying.